Here we go. We're gonna go ahead and get this boy back. Oh, oh we got one. Ooh. Here we go. Uh, what's up, Tastic Gang? It's your boy Turbo Tastic, and today, y'all, well, not today, actually, just the day before, I'm going to be going crappie fishing, and I have this amazing setup, and it's a micro setup. It's friendly, it's beginner friendly, and it's easy to fish with. I'm gonna show y'all the results and everything that you need to know throughout the way. So y'all make sure y'all sit and relax and enjoy the movie that I'm gonna show for y'all. Go grab something to eat and something to drink so you don't have to get up while you're watching the movie. I appreciate all the support that y'all are showing my channel. And you know, if you are a supporter of me and I went to Incredible George's channel, I appreciate that as well. We're trying to get my boy to 100 subscribers. So y'all go ahead and go check that out if you haven't. But like I told y'all in the last video of y'all saw, we have a very special surprise for y'all. But yeah, I'm trying to tell y'all, it's a very, very big surprise. I got two things. One's gonna be with my boy, Incredible George, and then you know I got a little personal thing. But like I said, y'all, we're gonna be fishing with this friendly micro setup that I'm about to show y'all right now. All right, Tasty Gang, we out here. I'm gonna show y'all the pole and the lure that I'm using, and then we gonna get straight to fishing. The lure that I have tied up is a Z-Man Micro Finesse. It's apparently it's 10 times tougher than, you know, regular swim baits, but this is what we have. I got it for Academy for like $2.99, I believe, and I got it paired up with these Road Runners. Now, this is just a 1 16th ounce blade uh, runner or row runner, that's what it's called, but I call it a blade runner, and you know, that's the killer combo setup that I had today. Both of these could be found at Academy and I'm not sponsored. You know, I, I, if you see this video, I would love to be sponsored, but these are the two setups and I'm not sponsored by them. Y'all know, I got my Bass Pro Shop reel and uh, well, not the reel, but this is a Bass Pro Shop rod. This is a micro quite glass. It's a 5.6 ultralight rod. Y'all can see why it's ultralight, but I got it tied up with the bait that I showed y'all last night, and that's just this micro, this micro swim bait setup. It's on a Blade Runner. Make sure y'all can see it. But yeah, y'all see it? It's on a Blade Runner, super small, and the bait is only 1.75 inches long, so that's why it's called micro. But I wanna encourage all y'all, if you got anybody, any family, any friends that just needs to be doing something else or can be doing something better with their time. Tell them to go fishing. Tell them to go outside and enjoy the nature and good outdoors that God has out here for us because he wouldn't have it out here if we weren't supposed to enjoy it. What the world? That's a spider. Where is it connected? So yeah, y'all, he wouldn't have it out here if we weren't supposed to enjoy it. Make sure you also, if you don't have a close connection with God, try to do that because I believe from personal experience, if you try to be closer with God, you'll be able to know when things are hard in life, what you're supposed to do. And he'll always give you the right path to go to. Early in life, I was struggling doing things that I wasn't supposed to do. And, you know, I, I want to say that I learned the hard way, but I learned the hard way for a good reason because I'm, at, I'm where I am now. I don't know where I would be. I just started listening to my parents and listening to God and it's just got me in the best position that I can never, I can't complain about it. Like, I, it's, it's truly a blessing to be where I am. So I wanna encourage y'all to do those two things. If you don't, make sure you get closer with God and make sure you go out, enjoy the outdoors and go fishing. Cause you never know, you might love both of them. But y'all, we about to go ahead and catch these crappie on this micro lure now. And I'm gonna show y'all how I work it and that it works effectively. Y'all know in most of my videos, I do the same setup. I do the bobber about a foot and a half down to whatever I'm throwing. And I fig I find here that that is just the best setup. Now, I say use a bobber because it's friendly. It's beginner, it's beginner friendly. If you haven't fished before, you'll know instantly when you have a bite because you'll see the bobber go under the water. Simple as that, y'all. 
I keep getting bit, y'all. Oh. We got one. We got him, y'all. That's the first one. Dang, he swallowed that bait. Y'all, he actually, he absolutely swallowed that. Look at that. Bro, it's all the way inside of there. That was literally the second cast with this bait. Let's get him unhooked. Look at that. Got him unhooked just like that. Now, this is a baby one, but the only reason... Okay, let me take that off. Like I was saying, y'all, this is a baby one, but we keeping the fish from my grandma today. She been talking about, man, you been doing all these videos, catching and releasing. You need to go ahead and bring me some. So that's what we doing today, grandma. Had a spider on my leg. But yeah, I'm going to go and catch these fish for your grandma, and I'll be at your house in a little bit. So don't worry about it. I want to let y'all know what I was doing on that last time. All I was doing when I'm slowly retrieving my lure, if I see it get bit, I'll jerk it just a tad bit just to get that fish and to get a little reaction bite if it wants it really bad then I'll start reeling it again if it doesn't bite and then he'll just come that's what works I want to say 95% of the time that's what I use out here and most of the time it's kind of windy you can just let the bait drift in the water and then you'll see that bobber go under and then you know you got a fish on but I'm barely reeling it barely but you can see my bait that drifted all the way over there. I threw it out right here. There we go. Let's go, y'all. That's another cropping. He's squirming everywhere. I actually caught him in the same spot. Yes, sir. That's the second crop of the day. I caught him right there, like right in the, it's barely a little shade. And it seems they're all camping under there. Now I say they're all, but I've only caught two. But let's see if we can go ahead and make it three. Oh, we got one, y'all. Oh, it was a big bass. It was a big bass. Got a fish on. Dang, again, it's the bass. It was the bass. Yeah, it's a yellow jacket on my on my fishing pole. Oh. All right, I got another one, y'all. It's not the bass, but I had to make sure I set the hook on him. <laughs> I'd have lost the same bass two times in a row, y'all. And he just peed on me. I'm for certain about that. Dang. Dang, stop moving. All right, y'all, we got him on hook. Finally got us another crappie after losing that same bass two times in a row. I think we're going to get another shot at that bass. Uh, but y'all see, we securing the bag on a crappie. Now you don't got to set the hook as hard as I just did. I just didn't want it to be that bass again and it just spit the hook out. But we're going to go ahead and get him in the bucket. Got us another one, y'all. Yup. Come on, boy. Get up in here. Get up in here. Yup. Look at that. Every single time. Dang. 
Oh, come on, man. Every single time. Look at where that lure going. Right there. Too easy to catch these trophy now. Man, look at that. That's the biggest one of the day. Biggest one. Don't don't spike me. Look at her now. Look at her compared. That's at the so the top of my my top of my finger all the way down to my arm. It's a nice size crappie. I know some of y'all might be saying these are small crappie, but hey, I'm catching them. I'm catching them. Dang, I had me one, y'all. All right, we got them. We got us another one. Come on, boy. Come on. He's super small. Oh. oh. Yeah, this is the smallest one we'd have caught today, y'all. He he got he got some meat on him now. Don't get me wrong, but he just too small for me to keep. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and get this boy back. All right. Got us one, y'all. We got us one. I looked down for a second. Look at that boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Got him secure. Look at that boy. These things been eating good. They ain't that big, but they beefy. I always keep forgetting to take my hat off so y'all can actually see me. But yeah, we about to go ahead and get him in the bucket. I'm gonna show y'all. I'm about to show y'all how many we got so far. That's all we got today so far, y'all though. I think it's about four of them up in there. Maybe five under up, uh, under up one of them. But yes, sir. We got us one, y'all. Got us one, y'all. Dang. He just got a lot of water in my eye. That's the first. Come on, slide. Come on now. Come on. That's the first brim of the day, y'all. Finally. I didn't know if we were gonna be able to catch Brim or not, being how big this bait was for him. But, all right, he keeps flopping. I gotta make sure he make sure he sits still. We got him. That's the first Brim of the day. I got a smaller setup that I'm gonna show y'all to catch brim on, but we caught them on the one we were using to catch crappie. That's actually pretty crazy. Shows the versatility of that bait. We will go out and get him in the bucket though. Y'all, we gotta go get some bait tomorrow for the video that we gonna be posting. We going catfishing, y'all. Make sure y'all tune in to that. And if you ain't seen the video last week of us catching crappie with that killer double ring, make sure you go check out that video because I'll have it popped up at the end, of course, but it's an amazing video. You ain't gonna wanna miss it. A lot of my videos is informational videos and tips that you could use to make yourself a better angler. Cause that's all I wanna do is help you catch fish more efficiently so you're not out here all day. Cause I mean, I, don't get me wrong. Some people like fishing all day, like myself. But some people like catching fish and being gone. So I'm gonna show you how to do both of the things. Of course, you'll see the edited up version, but 
Yeah. It's it's a Alright Tasha gang. I know y'all can see I changed my clothes and everything. It's a brighter day. This is part two of fishing with the the micro spinner. And by the way, it's Father's Day too. It's just early in the morning. I'll be grilling for my dad. If you're doing something special for your dad, let me know in the comments. And also, happy Father's Day to all the fathers that might be watching this video. But yeah, y'all, we better go and get straight to fishing. If you haven't already, make sure y'all go ahead and hit that like button and go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can know when I post a video every time. Make sure y'all always put sunscreen on when it's hot out here. on y'all yep come on come on first one of the day Ooh. let's go let's go y'all that's the first one Let's go, y'all. That's the first crop here today. Go go ahead and get him in the bucket so I can give it to my grandma. Oh. Oh, we got one. Oh. God. Dang, he really pulled it. That dude was trying to get away. For real. He hit like right at the bank, y'all. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hit that. Hey. Let's go, y'all. That's the second one. Look at that crappie. Got a spider on the camera. Had a had a spider on the camera <laughs> but yeah y'all let's go y'all see we got the first one i don't know if y'all noticed but your boy your boy cut his hair off it's gone i'm done with it i couldn't deal with it no more and for the surprise that i got coming for y'all i just wanted to have a more professional look but yeah we got this crappie it's gone get him in the bucket oh got one yep. Let's go, y'all. That's the second species already. Got us another little bluegill. I say another because we'd have got one in the uh, previous day. All right, we got him. Got him on hook, girl, like that. Look at that boy. We go go get him in a bucket before you try to stab me. Y'all make sure y'all stay tuned, man. Last week I uploaded that catfishing video. And hey, in a couple weeks, I got a huge surprise for y'all. And I'm going to be giving away something to somebody. It ain't going to be no 4,000 subscribers, no 5,000 subscriber giveaway. It's just going to be a plain giveaway to y'all because we got something big coming. I hope that y'all are watching. Make sure that y'all share this video. I ain't going to say it increase your chances, but it might help someone else get blessed. I appreciate all the support, though. Got one, y'all. We got one. Oh, it's a bass. It's a bass. Ooh, uh, look at that. <laughs> we got us a little baby bass. <laughs> a little jittery baby bass. All right. All right. Okay. You there. You got a mama there. Dang. Come on. All right, we got a gator here, so I'm going to get him released quick. Let's 
Got one, y'all. We got one. It's a small. It's a small one. It's a really small one. Dang. Look at this crappie, y'all. What the world? And look at my bait. Y'all, this is the smallest crappie I've caught ever, and it inhaled my bait. He definitely way too small to keep, so we gonna go ahead and get him back. I think that's gonna conclude it, y'all. I'm gonna keep on fishing to uh, get some fish from my grandma, but um, I think that's gonna conclude the video for this micro spinner. I think I'd have showed y'all well enough that this bait right here made by z-man it works effectively and all you gotta do is get you a bobber set up like this it's about a bobber just set to about two feet deep or two feet up just because that's where the fish, uh, fish are sitting in my area but um yeah man it's getting hot it's summertime man y'all need to just go and fish Go enjoy what God got out here for us. I also want to say happy Father's Day to all the fathers because I'm recording this on Sunday. But make sure that you stay blessed and stay amazing, y'all. And do your thing because everybody's going to have something to say. But as long as you okay with it and you happy, that's the only thing that matters. Because God going to be watching you and all your family going to support you. But I'm going to go on and get up out of here, y'all. Like I be saying all the time, I appreciate all the love y'all show. But without further ado, it's been your boy Turbo Tastic. I'm about to get out of here. Peace.